All right, everyone, welcome once again to the YouTube channel. I am here with a friend. So your name is Shadrach, am I correct? Pendo, Shadrach. Okay, Shadrach Pendo. Yes. Could you tell us a little bit about you, who you are, what you do, and what you're gonna share with us today? Yeah, my, as you, you have addressed me, my name is Pendo Shadrach from Tanzania. I'm seven day Adventist. Currently, okay. we are living at the countryside. We moved from 2000, and, we moved 2022 from the city to, to country living. We are three families, three sisters, siblings with our children. But when we, on, on, on 2022, we moved from the city and we went to the village, bought 30 acres and we built a houses and we started God's work. We started evangelizing and also Okay. I was I was teaching Bible studies to schools around the village. Okay. But recently, around the seven villages, the government has told us to evacuate the area because it added them to the national reserves, and they brought. You said the government does what? told us to evacuate the area to evacuate and, the area because you were doing yeah, it no it's not because of evangelism it's because of the area has been taken with the government to be a national reserve wow okay wow how long do you have to do this they gave us three months from april to june so now we only have days to evacuate the area. Other villagers have already moved uh, almost four villages. So we are we are three villages left mm. among us. Mm. Wow. You did send me some pictures on uh, WhatsApp. I'm going to share that screen with you. Uh, if you can walk us through what we are looking at and so you can explain to us what's happening here. Um, there were, so is this the house? Yes, that one is my sister's house. Uh-huh. Yes. So this is your sister's house and what's going on here? And we come here. We have two houses, her house and my house. So both of them, we are, we are supposed to leave them and find another place because this area has been taken with the government. So the government wants to take over this area. Have you moved out with your family? Why are they doing this exactly? They add the area with the National Reserve. And they have even brought animals like elephants, chimpanzees, and leopards. So that wow. area is is being added to the national reserve for national, wild national. animals. Oh wow! Okay, that is that's crazy though. But when they ask you to evacuate, do they provide any help to finding houses? Nothing. Uh, just nothing. And even if they you they they give you a time when you 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 don't you don't evacuate timely you, you they 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 never they never give you a time to even remove your property. They don't even give you time to remove the properties. Wow. Yes. So who am I looking but at? If, but but if you evacuate on time, you take your your property and remove. Okay, so 
who is this lady? What am I looking at? That is my sister, the one with that house. Okay, so these are the evangelist, uh, the books that you guys are selling and sharing with others? We are not selling, we are just giving them for free because when we moved, we, we bought the books and we started to give to the native there. Bibles, LNG, YT, oh, writings, okay. and so forth. All right. So you're just giving all this stuff away for free. Yeah. Share them in WhatsApp groups to reach other people to encourage them to leave the cities because we know what is coming will be hard for Advent. So, but as I said earlier, the challenge we are facing here is that we're supposed to evacuate from our environment to look for another place. That's why my young sister reach to you asking for your help mm -hmm. uh, if god wishes then we can find another place and start a new life there understood understood i and that's why i wanted to bring you to the channel to have an understanding of what's going on here um yeah. and also to share with the audience as well um so the issue is that you guys have to evacuate within the next five or six days and we have 30 days. You have 30 days? Yes. Until and June 30th. Until the 30th of June. Okay. So, but there's a whole family involved there. And also, moving is going to be very difficult because you only have so little time to do it. But moving to go where? It's also going to take finance because they don't provide anything to have you guys before you guys can move. Yes. All right. So you sent me, is there any videos you want me to go through beside the ones you just shared with me? Any more videos? Is what about that one with this family? This one? That's another family of yours? Yeah, that's that's my 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 house, and it, and that you that lady is our sister also. Okay, okay. And again, to be exact, you guys this are is Junior Joseph, my son, and this is Savela. Let me, let me restart that. Our small family. We have our big sister. Uh, what is your what is name, my dear? Deborah Shadrach and you, your name? Miss Yoda Chari is our daughter. And this is Cecilia, our grandma. This is Junior Joseph, my son. And this is Savela Gelez. Our mother is in town, Pendo Shadrach. And uh, this one is Joshua, my son, to whom I'm taking this photo. This is a press. We are, we are staying for now, now. And, and the owner of the house, is the, the one who wrote the email to you. you. We are seven day Adventists who moved from, from the city to this, this village, and, and we are really beautiful family. So, um, <laughs> so okay, this is was one of the houses that you you spoken about. Um, All right. So what would you like for us to do for you? And what kind of assistance are you looking for at this time? Yeah, according to that time, which we have been given is too small. And when we moved from the cities, we sold all our properties and mm -hmm. moved to the country. And now we don't have anything to start off. It has been very urgent. So, so I would like to ask you, brothers mm -hmm. and sisters in Christ, to help us financially now. Yes. Okay. Because it's an urgent, it's an urgent situation, yeah. and it's gonna be a straw in the family. And again, we're talking about there's children involved here as well, which is um. Yeah. Is outside, outside environment, environment. And, and, and also even for now they 
Very uh, it's not safe because really, they have really, brought yeah. even animals. They have what kind of animals? Yeah, they have brought animals like elephant, chimpanzee, and leopards. So you can stay with the animal around. Oh wow! And <laughs> Elephant, chimpanzee, and leopard. They are oh. doing that in order for the people to leave the area. Oh, so they already sending the animals to scare people out of the area. And it's not a matter of scaring, and they have taken the area. And you cannot live with the animals, so you have to move, even if they don't chase you. Wow. That is, um, yeah, well, first of all, I wanna say I'm sorry to hear this. This is a lot worse than I thought it was. And I didn't realize how many children were involved in this. So this is very difficult. Um, and I'm hoping some of my audience will be able to sympathize with you as well, to see what, I mean, prayerfully to see what they can do to assist your family this is a drastic change and again i want to say this is yeah. uh, this is happening to a brother and to a sister and we should say right a sister in the faith um so it's like a family fellow brethren this is happening to in parts of the world and we know we live in a time where yeah. there's a lot of crazy things going on but um but we should be coming together uh as we see the days approaching, we should be finding ways to to assist as much as possible. So having had the conversation, watching some of the videos, I myself, uh, me and my wife, we're going to be doing some praying and to see how we can assist uh, financially as well. Um, so the person talking here is who is that's not. She's my it's sister, a, the one in, who is the one who, right. who is talking to the videos, the previous one. Okay. We we are only just to read. This one is who is who you saw so, you saw on in the other video inside yeah. the house. Yes. That was another video. I understand. Yeah. And plus, you guys have a ministry where you are actively engaged in evangelism, sharing free literatures with the people in the community um, and things like that. Um, so all of that is going to be impacted as well. And when you move, do you have an idea where you're going to go if you have to move with your family? First, we, we have to pray for that. And we have been praying almost for two months since we we got that announcement. Mm -hmm. And we have planned to look straight from the government offices so as they can give us a land. And that thing doesn't have to happen again. Got it. Got it. And after that, we can see if we can have a land for, for a small church. And then there, after settling, we can start our work of evangelizing. Mm -hmm. yes. You know, it's easy for me to say because I live in the United States. So we don't. That's not a really one of our problems. But I don't really understand. So I can sympathize and empathize as much as possible. But yeah, that situation mm -hmm. is your situation. You don't want to go into it. You know what it feels like than anybody else. But uh, yeah. so I kind of want to meet you where you are as much as possible. But, you know, the thing the Lord tells us in Romans chapter eight, about verse 28, that all things work together for good to them that love God and to them who are called according to his purpose. Um, we don't know what God is about to do with you and your family at this moment, but. I believe he's going to use this situation for a greater glory, for a greater purpose. Yeah. Easy for me to say, easy for me to say, because I'm not in it. But knowing 
that you guys have a love for the Lord and you're willing to to use whatever means is possible to reach others. For as difficult as this mm -hmm. seems, it seems like God is doing something with this. From my perspective, of course, it seems like God is doing something with this. You might not understand at this moment, but I think maybe a couple months from now, the picture is going to be a lot clearer than it is. And this is not to say yeah. the church will not help. We should sit back and say, well, it is what it is. God have it under control. I'm not saying that. All I'm saying is I want you to not lose faith nor courage because of what's happening, because there is obviously something God is working is working with at this moment. And the other side of the truth could also happen. It could be that God could intervene so much so that you don't lose your property, that whatever plan that the government is working on, that God can actually turn that around, right? To the point where they leave it alone, they change their minds, whatever. We don't know what God is about to do, but whatever he's doing, because you are his children, and so is your family, your beautiful family, whatever God is doing is going to work out for his glory, uh, for his greater purpose. This much I know. Yeah. Um, Thank you, Pastor. Okay. Let me share this. You did have contact info. So if somebody wants to reach you, WhatsApp is the place where they want to get in touch with you. This is your number, 255. So if you want to get in touch with Sister Shadrach Pando, 255-747-481-854. That's the contact info. Um, so if somebody's, I'm going to put that in the description of this video as well. Um, also, next, if somebody wants to donate or anything like that, um, this is where you can donate. So this is the bank info where you can receive donation directly into the bank. Is that correct? Yes. So I think you can go to either a Western Union or something like that, or a MoneyGram, I think they do this, and you can directly make a deposit into the bank info. That bank info is going to be in the description of this video as well. So if you click description, it's going to be at the very top where you can donate under the name Pando Shadrach, uh if i may say this comba comba Com comba okay comba okay so the m is silent it's in so words some somehow difficult to pronounce it okay okay yeah so yeah. pendo shadrach um you can donate it directly this is the bank info it's gonna be in the description of the video can i ask another question i know it's how long you and your family been in the Adventist church and how did you guys become a Seventh-day Adventist? I can say we are born in Adventist because our father and mother are Adventist, okay. but we, our mother passed away. We, are, we only have our father. Oh, that's interesting. So you were born yeah. and raised in the Adventist faith. Adventist. That's beautiful. That's great. Yes. That's great. All right. So, um, yeah, I don't know if you have anything else you want to share, um, but I think we have enough to share with the audience of what's going on with you and your situation. Um, we are hoping and praying for the Lord to to do. I mean, what else do you have in mind you want to tell us um, if you want to if you have a closing statement and after that we can have a final word of prayer? <laughs> well, I can say yes. God bless you guys and thank you, Pastor, for having me here at your platform. Very welcome. Very welcome. Um, again, like I've said, my wife and I are gonna have a little discussion to see what we can do. So I have the bank info. We're gonna start with what we we can assist you with. Um I do have a local church where I can make reference to you in a board meeting. But sometimes that takes it takes time. So sometimes the church can put a little donation together and assist any family who's in need. So I'm gonna make reference to that to some of my board, my elders as well, uh, to see if that's something they're willing to help. Um, 
it's not guaranteed. That's why I would, I would rather go to the people first and then go to the elders and to see what's happening there. And then uh, whatever it is that they can assist you with, it should come to you directly. So, all right. So with that being said, I think we should pause and have a word of prayer. And then all that information, I'm going to take this video down and then put it back up so that people can take a look uh, just and let, let the Lord, you know, touch their hearts however he chooses for them to help. Okay. All right, let us pray. Father, we thank you so much for another day. Thank you for the time we spent together talking to Sister Pendo Shadrach and her beautiful family. You know the concern that is on their hearts and what is happening in their world. And something's got to be done. Thank you that she was willing to reach out and contact because we will have never known, Father, if she did not say something. I pray that you will begin to intervene now. We don't know what the government has in mind to do, their plans. For whatever selfish reason it might be, we don't fully understand, but we simply ask, you know, God, in the name of Jesus, for your intervention at this moment, your intercession at this moment, you can deter and throughout the plan of the enemy, or you can choose to allow them to go through this and on the other side, use it for your glory. It is possible that you have something greater in store for this family and you are moving them into a new phase in ministry where you can do greater things with them. We don't know for certain, but all things that we do know is that nothing that's happening here is by chance, nor by accident. These things you saw coming and you said all things will work together for good. And even the temptation that takes us, we, we are told it is not uncommon, but God is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able but with will the temptation also make a way to escape that you may be able to bear it. There are children involved. We pray that they will find the peace of God in this situation. We pray for the sisters and the rest of the ladies that are going and facing these situations, oh God. We asking for you to keep them, to sustain them, to protect them, no matter what is happening at this moment. Lord, we love you and we thank you we praise your name in the name of Jesus Christ. We ask, Amen. 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 All right. Thank you, Pastor. All right. Thanks for having me. Thanks once again for sharing this with us, and we really hope and pray that the Lord will intervene for you. Thank okay. you. All right. We'll stay. All right. God bless you.